first hand. And she's choosing to mulligan. Aaron's choosing to mulligan as well. Didn't quite catch what was in Aaron's hand, but looks like Vivi had about five or six characters and a milk. Yep. No, he can't. So maybe looking for that at economy. Yep. It's very yep. Go on. No, no, it's very important in uh, in Game of Thrones to get off to a flying start. Um, there might be a few people watching who may not know 100% how to play. There yep. might be new players that might be interested in the game. Um, in Game of Thrones, you of course have to set up your cards. Um, you get eight gold to play with on setup, so you want to put as many cards down as you can including economy cards which give you gold resources mm -hmm. in future rounds yeah. so if you're not doing that you're getting off to a slow start and you're at risk of falling behind very quickly yeah. i find in the majority of games um the games are decided within the setup hand if you don't get a good setup that's uh pretty puts you at a pretty bad disadvantage it might not be decided but it's definitely heavily influenced in, yeah. in the outcome of the game yeah. yeah so she's got a bit of a, a better setup here can't quite see aaron's we're looking at the hand cam it's a bit far away. Yeah. If only he could uh, just tilt his hand forward a bit, we could see it on the main cam. Oh my god. Is wow. Vivian running, running marched? No, she is not. Okay. What, what a brave setup. So Man. Aaron has basically, through maybe lack of a better choice of options, he set up a duped Victorian with no other characters. Yeah. Um, and as many of our listeners know, um, as many of our listeners know, uh, March to the Wall is a very popular plot. Um, it forces both players to discard a character yeah. um, at the plot phase. So if Vivi had March to the Wall, um, that Victorian would be gone. Mm -hmm. But thankfully she does not, and um, the Victorian will live to fight another day. Let's see what they flip here. All right, we have noble cause for Aaron, five zero one. It uh, it allows him to reduce the first um, lord or lady by two. Uh, we also have uh, the Varys's riddle. Varys's riddle, yep, which copies a when revealed effect of a plot card. But of course, Aaron's is not when revealed, um, meaning that her mm -hmm. plot essentially does nothing. Though it does provide six initiative and five gold. Right. What do you make of these plots, Niall? Um I mean, I'm trying to think what she was looking for when she played Varys the Riddle. She clearly cut, tried to counter um, well, Aaron's plot choice, so she might have assumed he was running Summer Harvest. So if Varys' Riddle hits Summer Harvest, um, well, Summer Harvest has a gold cost of X, where X is plus two of your opponent's uh, plot. But Varys' Riddle and Summer Harvest have an interesting interaction where Varys' Riddle can set that gold to two. Yep. So their opponent will start with two gold. It's a yep. big hit. So opening with Varus's Riddle is kind of like a low risk, high reward play. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately today it didn't do much. We've got Theon coming down, a very, very annoying character. Um, loves forcing through that unopposed if attacking alone. And Miriam. And Miriam, wow. <sighs> okay, this is a pretty scary board. Miriam, of right course, about. if she, um, if Miriam wins a challenge alone, um, she's, she can replace the claim of that challenge and instead kill a character. Yep. So unless unless Vivi has an immediate answer, Randall may die this turn. Randall's going to be targeted. Let's see what Vivi plays. And some of these characters, um, they're pretty well known, pretty popular characters in the meta right now. Uh, Victarion, he's got Renown, he's got Intimidate, and if he were to be killed, he can discard two power from him to save him. At the moment he has no power, but he does have a duplicate. Alright, a bodyguard coming down on Randall, so he will live to see another day. Aaron doesn't have any gold left over, so he doesn't have the we do not sow to get rid of the bodyguard. Nope. Um, Randall, of course, has renown and can stand up again to commit multiple challenges uh, if his strength was increased. Yeah. I'm trying to see what's in Vivi's hand at the moment. Is he a clear hand judgment, Colin? I think she has two bastard daughters in her hand, which yep. is a uh, it's pretty nice to see a bastard daughter, but seeing all three mm. right off the bat can be pretty annoying. Palace Spearman coming down. Vivi's going second, so the Palace Spearman becomes a tricon. No, no so Aaron's going first. Let's see what challenges he makes.
what uh, what order would you do the challenges here? Niall. Um, well, you can always do the... I'm not sure, to be honest. You can always just go straight for the Miri. Um, try to reduce his board down, kill the Palace Spearman, um, prevent prevent uh, Vivi from doing challenges, and then keeping a character up for Dom. But it seems Aaron is going for the Intimidate play. Military? All right. The Five Strength Military Challenge. Five Strength Military coming in with Victorian. Don't forget, of course, Victorian has Intimidate. So he gets to kneel a character um, equal of strength equal to the amount of which he won by. Yep. But he does have to win. Yes. All right, Vivi blocks with six total strength. Yep. Randall and the Bastard Daughter. Yep. Randall will collect Renown. Intrigue. Yep. I will... Yep, I'll trigger that and I'll get Randall. Okay. okay. So Miri wins the Intrigue challenge against the Palace Spearman, which has the Intrigue Archon going second. Yeah. Miri tries to kill Randall, but of course Randall saves with the Bodyguard. Yeah. So oh, yeah. pretty pretty standard, pretty expected. It's important to remember that Miri also replaces the claim, so uh, Aaron will be taking the card yeah. from Vivi. That's right. Randall without a Bodyguard though, he, um, unless Vivi finds an answer, he may be um, at risk next turn. Next turn. Plots. So Vivi has, just read through Vivi's plots here, it's really interesting and varied plot selection. We've got Political Disaster, Calm Over Westeros, Valor, Close Call, Pulling the Strings and Heads on Spikes. So, it's not really, I mean, she's kind of, it's like a toolbox yeah. plots. A few of them are meta calls as well, like yep. Political Disaster. We've got Calm Over Westeros here, so Vivi will, um, oh, yeah, sure, so, uh, Vivi okay. will choose um, a challenge type, of yep. which there will be no claim. Or one, one less claim. Yeah, I'll let you go first. And Aaron's got Counting Coppers, so he'll draw some extra cards. So, yeah. so Aaron has won initiative because he has a l they've tied an initiative, but Aaron has less power. And he's decided for a um, Vivi to go first. That's right. Always advantageous to go second in this game, unless you want to really trigger something going first. Yeah. Vivi, of course, counting gold here with um, these beautiful tokens that she won from uh, the Nationals here. Yeah. It's good to see she's taking advantage of them straight away. Does she have an answer for Miri? Mm -hmm. Doesn't look like it. No milk, no nightmares. She did draw into a um, into a Varus. It won't be enough, so, though. So, yeah. Randall will die before the Varus trigger. Did you catch which, um, which uh, challenge Vivi... Announced for the Karma of Westeros? No, I didn't hear it. I'd assume she would go for... Well, it'd be military, military or intrigue. Military or intrigue, yeah. Yep. Not power at this point. But the reason why I, said I uh, pointed out Varys is if she was going second, she could use Power Spearman and Varys to beat Miri. Because Miri is only 5 strength and she has to be attacking a lot. That's right. Military, there we go. Military, there we go. Thanks to uh, Brett. A um, local legend here at uh, 3D6. Vigilant Brett. And uh, hello to everyone on, um, watching at home on the live stream. We've got a chat box set up here on Twitch. So if you have any questions about the game or want to say hello. Or have um, any comments you want to make, some any uh, comments, opinions. Expert opinions, feel free to drop a line. We've got Vivi spending all her gold on Varus. Big play. Let's see how Aaron responds. Yeah. With a dupe on Theon. That's the best way to respond. <laughs> I think what Vivi might have been going for is to. Um, yeah. Um, what Vivi's going for with the Varus play is to try to get a target more valuable than Randy, uh, Randall Tarly. So instead of Aaron killing Randall, he'll kill uh, Varus instead. That's very possible, yeah. Great Kraken coming down here for Aaron. If he uh, wins a power challenge, sorry, if he wins an unopposed challenge, um, he gets to gain a power. Or, or draw, draw a card. Or draw a card, yeah. yeah. And he can do that twice per phase. Mm, very strong card. Great comment here from Kalehandrogo. 
Uh, he noted That's that me. it had to be Mill because uh, Miri would replace the claim of Intrigal Power. Yep. So a sh enough. shrewd comment here. Uh, Vivi's up first, sorry. Let's see what she does. Aaron's had a very marchable board state for the last two turns. <laughs> Uh, if only Vivi was running much. Yeah. Now Vivi's just pondering uh, challenge trade, what she wants to do. So Vivi gets a free power for an unopposed power challenge. Aaron, of course, had nothing on his on his faction card. And that's why Vivi just went for a one strength. Um, because Aaron didn't have any power, there's not much to take. So she, she might as well get a cheeky unopposed. Yeah, Randall going in for the military challenge. Vivi, of course, has no gold. So, no even if she had, um, yeah, n even if she had growing strong, Is she running growing strong. Um, good question. Let's see. Oh, we got a question here from uh, from the Twitch chat. How many total participants? So, uh, the Australian Nationals this year had forty-one players, um, beating last year's total by one. Last year we had forty. Pretty good. Pr Big improvement. Yeah, big improvement. So we had 41 players, which means we played six rounds of Swiss yesterday. And in the end, we've got a top eight here. Um, a very mixed top eight. We've got um, a player from Melbourne, a player from Adelaide, a um, couple from Sydney, yeah. at least one from Canberra. Yeah. So, yeah, very uh, widely varied uh, Nationals top eight here. Intrigue goes through, pulls the fishmonger. I'm sure Aaron's happy with that. Intrigue. All right, Randall dies. I think Aaron's happy. I think Aaron's happy with uh, Varus triggering, considering he has the dupes. Unfortunately, th that does open him up. I see Vivian is running Valor. Um, a, great, a great play with Varus is to get rid of dupes so you can uh, Valor more effectively. That's true. Does Aaron have risen from the sea in hand? Maybe he's considering Can't Varus. See. The right play here would be to trigger Varus and flip Bella. Yep. Sure. Yep. So unless uh, unless Aaron has risen, the next Val is going to be pretty brutal. Mm. Can't quite see in his hand if he does. Actually, what am I saying? The, the deck doesn't actually run Risen. Maybe we can see that. Wow, okay. So his only events are Nightmares and Widenos, so... Okay. So if Vivi flipping Valor here is going to be yep, vicious. she goes straight for the Valor. Okay. Aaron flips trading. He's probably got another bomb in hand. He does have a Euron in hand. Euron's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty what good, I heard. Pretty good bomb. <laughs> yeah, so Aaron uh, revealed trading with Pentoshi, which is a pretty big high high gold plot, but it does give your opponent three gold. Wow, she just drew into Randall. Sad times. Don't you hate that? Drawing to a dupe just after a character died. Yeah, it's uh, luck of the deck. Let's see what uh, what she plays here. She's got a number of low-cost characters. She can't play too much, though. Oh, no, she's got the uh, extra goal from trading. Yeah. Pretty nice of uh, Aaron to give her three gold. He's a nice guy.
the daughter coming down for Vivi. Got a um, Tyrell reducer chart. Did uh, sh I think she forgot to trigger Bastard Daughter? No, because isn't it only when it's killed. Yeah, she triggered Valor. No, oh no, Varus, that's correct. Varus, that's right. Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, what am I talking about? So, Colin of Greenpool's one of my favorite cards. Two gold, and he becomes four strength during power challenges. Yeah. We all know, Pretty of course, good. that the power challenge is the most important challenge. Most important. Seems it seems when you gain uh, power, you win. Who would have thought? Strange. And uh, I think that's a win condition. Fifteen power. So even on a valid turn, Vivi's board doesn't look too bad. A bunch of chuds. All right, Balan Greyjoy coming down with a dupe. Balan Greyjoy coming down for free, using all the uh, reducers. Yeah. So Aaron still has t ten gold. What else has he got in your hand up there? Looks like an Iron Mines, Rattle Shirts, Asha. Is that Nasha? Yeah. But there's a Euron as well. Yeah, as you said before. So many options. I mean, at this point, since Aaron has, uh, has already seen the Valor, he can play um, all his big bombs with no dupes quite securely. He has uh, no fear of the resets. Absolutely, but Vivi... Is she running... Yeah, she is running two copies of Tears of Lease, um, which she doesn't have in hand right now, but... And she also has no Intrigue icon. That's right. She can't do an Intrigue challenge. But, I mean, f for later on. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah. Tears of Lease. Uh, yes, Lance in the Twitch chat. This is the top eight. Um, Aaron, I believe, finished seventh. Vivi finished second. So they're playing each other right now. Going for a power challenge with the Garden to Caretaker. Zero claim, of course. Military was blocked. Power. Power oh, boost. Alright, trigger that to draw. Aaron draws a card from Great Kraken. Okay. Aaron gets a hit on power here. Four to three. And taking advantage of uh, Great Kraken. Bastard Daughter's gonna trigger, Aaron's gonna lose a card. Let's see what he loses. Hopefully it's not a Euron. Uh, but he does have two he copies. He does have another copy in the hand. He does have two copies. And again, uh, Valor is out, so yeah. cool. he doesn't have to worry about dupes too much. Mm -hmm. So where do you go from here if you're Vivi? Aaron's just recovered from Avala surprisingly well. Pretty well. Duped Balon, Asha. What's your next plot if you're Vivi? Well, um, well, she's running a political disaster. And there, um, there we see it. Yeah. Political disaster. A second County Coppers. We know this um, this Greyjoy Dragon deck loves to run double County Coppers to have cards in hand to pitch yep. for um, for the uh, Plaza of Pride. First. But um, right, I Vivi made uh, Aaron first. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I mean, she's running a few Martel cards, uh, and Martel yeah, do I'll love going I'll second for this very reason. Um, I imagine Aaron here will keep Great Crack and Iron Mines in a Great Hall. Oh, sorry, he can only keep no, two. No, he, he can only save two, and none of them are duped. So maybe he w he's already got a lot of his characters out. Um, if he does want to put Urine down, he will keep. Both great halls. His other plots are Valor weapons confiscation. And yeah. he's got both great halls. Yep. At this point, um, he's looking to put another bomb down. Yep. yep. We may see Euron coming down this turn. Vivi draws into Ariane Martel and Randall. Two Varuses. Wow. Yeah, another Varus. Really not what you not what you want to see. 
Aaron is running nightmares, but can't I don't quite see, see it in, in hand. his hand. It's yet. not in his hand, no. He's got a Euron. We do not sow. Alright, there's Jora. So Euron's coming next turn. And another oh, Bear Kraken. Bear Kraken out again. How much does Jor um, Jorah cost? Is it two gold? Mm -hmm. oh, is that how he's able to put it down for free? Two Bear Halls. Yeah, that's right. right. Yep. Reduce the cost of Unique. Ari and Martel coming down. How many cards So what Arian does is um, puts into play a five cost character and she returns to hand. So she can be quite good if you plant a Valor next turn. You put down a character you don't really care about. Valor, put her back down. Yep, and she can be good. Just she pretty much counts as two characters, so you can do multiple, uh, at least two challenges with her out. Yep, at great action economy. Um, we've just received uh, news that earlier, apparently, when we were talking on stream, there was no mic feed. So I'll just um, just for everyone who's joined us and for those who couldn't hear earlier, welcome to the uh, Australian Nationals for 2017. Welcome. Oh, Ariane using uh, using her ability, getting Night of Flowers in straight away. Blocking the intrigue and then uh, using Night of Flowers. Right. Uh, yeah, this is the Australian Nationals for a Game of Thrones the card game here at 3D6. Oh, there's the Barris. 3D6. Yeah, 3D6 in Canberra in Tuggeranong, ACT. Um, this is the top eight. We have Aaron on the left playing Greyjoy Dragon. On the right, Vivi, Tyrell, Banner of the Sun. Yep. Both players are from Sydney, but we do have quite a varied top eight from all over Australia. Yep. Play from Adelaide, play from Melbourne, at least one from Canberra. Yep. And all pretty experienced in uh, playing in the finals. That's right. Well. That's right. And um, so... And uh, if, you, if you didn't catch it earlier, my name is Niall. Ah, uh, yes, and, yes. Uh, this is Adam. I'm Adam, yeah. And um, you may notice the... Uh, we've had a question about the playmat on the left here. Um, it is a custom-made playmat, not from FFG Organized Play. Um, it's from a uh, little-known tournament called Colacon, Colacon. held uh, once a year at my place. So we have um, Balon getting the second power for Renown. Aaron is at risk of running away with this game. Through all the Renown and unopposed challenges. He has 8, 9, 10, 11 power. Do you think, well I was about to ask, do you think um, she should have played the Varus this turn, but she couldn't afford him? Um, Only four yeah, gold. she couldn't afford him. Even, even if she played him, um, Balon, Asha are, are both duped, so she'll be ha left with an empty board and Aaron will stay with uh, Asha and ba Balon. That's right. Yeah, there was some confusion in the Twitch chat earlier. This is just the top eight of the Nationals. Um, we did mention that earlier, but unfortunately the feed, the... Um, the, the, mic wasn't wasn't yeah, the, mic yeah. the mic wasn't working. Yeah, this is the first round of the top eight. First round of the top eight. One of the rounds of the top eight. It is, of course, the best of one in, in the top cut. Best of one matches. It's an easy game. Just the best of one. Maybe he's considering her options. She's considering letting this go through unopposed. And she has. So Asha gets to stand and he gets to trigger Bailon. Um, great crack. So he's rushing to victory. He's not getting any more cards. He doesn't need the cards. He's just won an unopposed power challenge. So unopposed military, I should say. Yep. Getting the extra power from Great Kraken. He's on 13. Maybe he's playing with fire. Sorry, on that. Okay. Yep. Rundle shows Raiders dies to military claim. So we he's doing a power challenge for four strength as Colin gets plus three. That's right. 
So Vivi will win this power challenge. It's just a question of whether Aaron should block or go for dominance. Right. He does decide to block. Do you think that was a smart move? Seeing as he could have won Dom if he kept Asha up? Well... Yeah. I guess in the pressure of the moment. So yeah, so... Uh, big disadvantage of political disaster is that has a really low reserve. That's right. But I think she was... Alright, we have weapons at the door here and pulling the strings. So let's see what schemes. Yeah. So Aaron was going for the high initiative plot because he wants to go first, seeing as he's so close to the win. Could Vivi copy anything? Don't believe so. I'm not sure. Don't. Oh, she could have copied the oh, county, county coppers, which yeah. is what she, she did. She just copied county coppers. Well, she's drawn into the tears, but it's too. I believe like it's one too, turn little, too late. Too little, too late. Yeah. I mean, even if she did draw last turn, all the Aaron grabbing the duplicates is just uh, just too good. Another dupe on Jora here. We just received word that uh, David Zhu from Sydney has defeated Andrew Sinfield from Canberra in the uh, in another top eight game, That's fourth versus good. fifth. What were David and Andrew playing? I know I did play against Andrew early on, and his deck was Martel Summer, mm -hmm. and it was I a played against control heavy. That's right, and I played against David. Uh, he was playing Greyjoy Reigns. Euron's come down here, so really, unless, I mean, yeah. It's a bit difficult for Vivi to uh, come back from this. Power challenge, two renown, three, I mean, and you also got the option for two the other renown, renown with, uh, with Jorah as well, for the other challenge. Yep. So, I mean, Vivi really needed to join to three milks to, <laughs> to have a chance here. <laughs> yeah. Even then. Yeah. I think ultimately it was the the right play for the Varus into Valar to get rid of the yeah. Tarion, but yeah. Aaron just came back too strongly. Too strong. Trading, uh, trading Patoshi yeah. on the same turn as Valar. Just able to recover. And there, Vivi can see it. That's it. Congratulations to Aaron. Um, through to the top four of the Australian Nationals. No major mistakes, it's just that's sometimes the way the cookie crumbles. No, and uh, she did really well getting to the top eight. Mm. Um, yeah, played really well. And a good sportsmanship as well. So yeah. Nice to see. Well, um, hopefully Brad or one of the uh, organizers here gets Aaron in for an interview. We'll uh, have a chat to him yep. and see what he thought about the game, what he thinks about his prospects moving forward. Yep, see if, he, uh, if there's anything he would have liked to have done better. Mm. Mm. Maybe learning, learning going forward. Yeah, I think it's the mat, the Colicon mat. It's giving giving so good luck. Good vibes. Who well, who organizes the Colt Con again? Oh, it's uh it's a little known player in Sydney. Um, yeah, that's no, uh it's good. You should come sometime now. Oh, I'll uh, I'll think about it. Might be a bit busy. <laughs> All right, and we have some other news from uh, from the top eight. Adam Huang from uh, Melbourne has defeated Bill Wren from Sydney. Oh. So, and Adam Huang is going on a really good run. He um. He top was of Swiss. undefeated. Yeah, top of Swiss undefeated. He's running a... What's his deck? He is running Tyrell Reigns. Tyrell Reigns. Very potent combination. Seems um, to be doing pretty well for him. Yeah, so we have three factions in the top four right now. Tyrell Reigns, uh, Night's Watch... Sorry, uh, Greyjoy Reigns. Uh, oh, sorry, and then Greyjoy Dragon. So only two yeah. factions, yep. Yeah. Those, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're still waiting on the other match, um, which was Ted, Ted Hang, and Ted, Deng. Ted Deng, sorry, and Bill Wren. No, Bill Wren just lost. Really? Yep. Uh, oh, against against Russell. We have uh, and uh, Aaron, the yep. winner of the last game, coming in. No I'm worries. I'm going to be bowing out and giving Aaron the space. No worries. So we'll Again, get Aaron to sit down here. here. Take a seat, Aaron. Just get you to move forward, get into the camera view. Oh, sorry, I'm on the camera. Yep. 
How's it going? Cool. So, do you want to just move in a bit? You're a bit. Nope. Yep. All good. Thanks. All right. So, this is um, this is Aaron Russell, the winner of the uh, top eight match. Um, we're just going to ask him a few questions. Um, see what he thought about the match. Anything he could have done better. Anything he could have done differently. How do you think you went? Um, yeah, no, I think it went pretty well. I well, was, you're, uh, you're here. You're the winner, yeah, so... Uh, that aside. Um, uh, I was worried that I made a big mistake in choosing Randall with mm. the first Miri challenge instead of actually killing someone. Mm. Uh, and I was worried that that was going to come around and bite me in the ass, but <laughs> it seemed to be, work out pretty well. Yeah, we... Um, Niall definitely thought that um, you should have killed Varus with, with the Miri trigger, but um, I, didn't, I didn't have an opinion either way. That, no, in the first one, Varus wasn't in the board. Sorry, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you killed the, you killed Randall with, yeah, and he yeah, got yeah. saved by the bodyguard. Yeah. And then when Varus was on the board with Randall, um, you chose Randall to die, and then yeah. Varus triggered. Yeah. So you think you should have killed Varus? Um, no, I was not too worried. I sort of knew that uh, Vic and Theon would stick around, and then it was probably going to be a Valor. But I s had a lot of, I had like Balon and a few other good characters in hand, so I yeah. figured like I can play trading and then just flood the board and that seemed to work out pretty well because there was just no answer for Balon, just unopposed. Mm. Yeah, we thought ultimately that um, you... Sorry, Vivi made the right decision in triggering Varus. I mean, she thought about it a little bit, but um, it was the right call to trigger Varus and then flip the Valor, get rid of the Katarian, who's extremely yeah. sticky on the yeah, board. Yeah, exactly. Um, get rid of Theon, who's very annoying, but of course, she had no way of knowing what was in your hand. Yeah, Balon, true. Euron, Asha. Yeah. And just a, such a good economy setup, and even after political disaster, sort of just had another copy of Great Kraken, and then another Sea Tower. It was like not really much change in the whole econ, and she yep. didn't have anything. The great thing about the political disaster for you is that um, it came after the Valor, so you were happy to get rid of the Iron Mines, yep. knowing that your Valor would not come for a long yep. time. Um, Vivi's deck wasn't really full of kill. It had a couple of tiers of lease, but you weren't really worried about that. Um, she um, didn't have gold. Oh, she didn't have any intrigue mm. icons. Like she had Varus and what's his name? Palace Spearman. Mm. But um apart from that, didn't really see anything, which would have been the biggest weakness, just tears all over the place. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, so I think overall it was a pretty interesting match. I mean, it didn't last too long. You ended up rushing rushing to the victory. But um yeah, overall it was a very interesting game. We have here as well um news from from the other match. Ted Deng has defeated Russell. Russell from uh from Adelaide, mm -hmm. who I played yesterday, very nice guy. But um, yeah, Ted has won. Ted is playing Night's Watch Fealty, so we do have three factions, three factions in the uh, top four: Greyjoy Dragon, Greyjoy Reigns, Night's Watch Fealty, and Tyrell Reigns. So, okay. Okay. very very interesting deck composition. Um, was there anything you would have done differently in that game, or maybe? Uh, to be honest, not really. I think. Um after sort of the second plot was underway, it was sort of pretty going pretty well for me, and I think I did everything that I could. I mean, like a positive result, but I don't mm. think I made any glaring mistakes or nothing I'd change. Yep, pretty fair much. enough, yeah. fair enough. All right, well, um, I'm not gonna. I just wanted to take a look at your deck now. Um, just talk about some of the some of the card selections. Um, I'll just pull your deck up here. There we go. So, I mean, I introduced your deck as a pretty kind of standard Greyjoy setup. Mm -hmm. um, I was having a chat to Niall earlier on the stream that I guess Greyjoy's, uh, Greyjoy's biggest weakness is control and yep. getting knelt out. And Greyjoy Dragon, I guess, is a really good way of n countering that because you have Plaza of Pride to stand characters. Yep. But of course, you didn't see Plaza of Pride in yeah. this game. So what, what, what do you think about your deck? Would you change anything? How's, um. how's it going for you so far? Um, well, I don't think I could really put more stand in there, to be honest. It's it's pretty packed full of stand, but um, I wouldn't really change much. I mean, it's got the... You can get along fine with just your... Like, the, the big bombs. A uh, little bit of hurt on lack of intrigue icons, but, like, if you don't see Euron early, then you're in a pretty bad spot if your opponent can just sort of rally you with the big intrigue challenges, but luckily that didn't happen today. Um... Apart from that, uh, I'm glad that I made the last minute change to put both uh, weapons at the door and confiscation because uh, previous testing was just everyone gets cravened or milked and that's <laughs> game over straight away. Yeah, yep. Yeah. There was a lot of Night's Watch yesterday, yeah. so yeah, ha packing that tech to get rid of the craven and the uh, marriage pacts and, and similar yeah, yeah, milks. Um, we have received word that the next game on stream will be Adam Huang from uh, Melbourne. 
playing Tyrell Reigns up against David Drew from Sydney playing uh, Greyjoy Reigns. So, looks like you're up against Nightwatch Fealty, your old arch, oh, arch nemesis. Excellent, lucked out again. <laughs> How do you think you'll go against Nightwatch Fealty? Is um, there anything you're going to look for? Any uh, tactics? Just blow up the wall. And blow up the wall. And steal it with Euron as, as quickly as humanly possible. I heard but, that's um, pretty good, stealing the wall with Euron. Yeah. Um, probably the worst matchup I could have asked for, to be honest. Mm. Um, yeah, if it does sort of get out of control, then they sort of just pack the whole board and you can't get any challenges through. I'm not looking forward to see more Haunted Forests, which yeah. I know for a fact will be in there. Yep, yep. Very um, good Greyjoy card. It'll all depend on the setup for both players, I guess, and that will, I say, probably make or break the game either mm. way. All right, well, um, I, best, uh, I bet you... I Sorry, I I think you better get to your table. Yep. Um, get ready for the game. They're just setting up the stream now, so... Yeah, good all luck. Right. Congrats. Thank you. And Thanks. good luck, yeah. Thanks. Don't choke.